All right. There we go. I saw hot tub stream and had to click. Where's the tub? We just got out. We just got out of the hot tub. <laughs> we just got out. I got to change that back. Oh, it was fucking wonderful. But it was too hot. I need clips. Hell yeah. Yeah, we were out there for a while. The problem is it was too hot and the camera was overheating. So I had to, uh, I had to come inside. To be honest, I was out of the hot tub for like 20 minutes anyways, because I was fucking hot. Hot tub in the day, usually hot tub at night. Yeah, I had a window where my uh, my roommate was out, so I had to carpe that damn. Oh God, what are these clips? What are these clips gonna be? <laughs> God, I haven't seen myself in third person. What the fuck? God, I need to lose some weight. Oh shit, this is squats. Ah. <laughs> uh, the fact that you did it though, hell yeah. Woo! All right, Chad, who wants some apples? There was a hot tub stream. Yeah, everyone missed out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Caramel, please. Oh, I don't have any caramel. Sometimes I do peanut butter. Ew, apples? Nikita, what the fuck's that about? Can you send some apple to the Netherlands? Ooh. I don't know how well that would work. <laughs> how can you say ew, apples? All right, chat. Let me get you caught up on what I did. I made a make file that has clippy uh, missing docs and private items. So now I need to document everything. <laughs> it's nice to see you on. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could send some apple seeds to the Netherlands instead. You can't grow apples with the seeds. At least from, like, most modern apples. Okay. So what we did is we put comments on everything. I don't think I wrote any code, though. Um, oh, the foreign language. Yup. Right into coding. I was playing some tibia today. I was reminiscing on the wonderful days of, uh, what's it called? Why am I blanking on the server name? I just... God, that server was so fucking good. It's still up and still popular. Haven't played in a while. Not gonna lie, I've been stuck on the survival game. Hell yeah, what have you been playing? You should try Dura. Yeah, I saw that. I was actually looking at that last night. It's apparently, like, more hard hardcore. Valheim? Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I'm still hot from that hot tub. All right, noted. Don't do the hot tub during the day. Maybe at night we'll get back in it. That was brutal. Um, all right. Chad, any rants you want me to do before we uh, get started coding? Because I'm going to finish this apple a bit. Look at these comments. Look at these comments, chat. Um, let me change the title, not to include hot tub. High performance NES emulation emulator dev. There we go. Bam. Got hot tub out of the title. You wouldn't have that problem at your normal stream times? Yeah, we're gonna have to do a EU friendly stream soon. Let that uh let that uh Sleep schedule rotate. All right. Let's figure out what I want to listen to today. Aren't you a fan of self-documenting code? AKA long variable names. No. <laughs> Oh, did I miss the hot tub? Yes, you did. 
Probably still got a majority of EU viewers right now. Yeah, we're going to start losing them as time goes on. Crazy how when you don't have job, you sleep at normal times, right? <laughs> it's almost as if I'm not working until four in the morning. <laughs> All right. So for people who have missed out, we are working on an NES emulator. Specifically, we're working on the IL, which we'll get into. Um, and our goal of this project is we want to write the highest performance Nintendo emulation system emulator. Get it? Nintendo emulator. Um, so, basically, what? God, that was bad. Chat, that was bad. Don't let me get away with that one. Can you make a Famicom emulator instead? I guess. Um, so we're going to be writing an emulator for an NES, and our goal is to make it as high performance as possible. Um, we want to be able to run millions, millions of Mario games per second, if we can. If we can. It might be hard to do. We don't know what kind of performance we're going to get, but we'll see. Um... Basically, we want to run six, uh, what, 32? 32 NESs per core? So we're going to run 32 NESs per core using uh, AVX 512 instructions. And we have 192, we have 384 cores. So we're going to be running 12,288 NESs in parallel. Now, how do we play that? We don't. So we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to actually play that because it's going to be running too fast and there's too many copies. So what we're going to be focused on is trying to write an emulator that can play the game for us, uh, whether that's some crazy AI neural nets or whether it's just randomly trying inputs to see what gets you through the level. Uh, that's what we want to do. People probably saw the helicopter stream that we did where we did that sort of thing. Um, and that helicopter game was kind of a precursor to what we want to do, but for a real game. So now we're kind of getting the environment set up to do that. So right now we're working in the IL, which is the intermediate language. This is basically what we're going to actually use to generate our code. It's the intermediate language that we're going to use to optimize to do all those sorts of things. So that is our current plan. Uh, we're going to do some crazy performance. And what we really want to do, I think, today is I think, do you think we can just get a 6502 emulator working today, chat? It won't be working with the JIT. The JIT will take a day or two. But I feel like we reasonably could get a 6502 emulator working today. Is any of this on GitHub? Not yet. We'll figure that out as we go. Have you seen Flappy Bird and Mario through Ace? I have. That was uh, Super Mario World. Uh, can we then also put the inputs into an actual NES emulator? Yeah, we'll have to be able to do that. Able to play SMB? No, not yet. Uh, Super Mario World? Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's the most broken game out of all of them. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be our plan. So we're going to start today working on optimizations. There's a couple optimization passes I really want to write. Uh, we're going to write uh, dead code elimination. We're going to write constant propagation. Uh, we're going to write... Hmm, what else do we want to write? Hmm. Let's see. I think those are good for now. We can write uh, registered uh, write, like deduplication as well which is relatively hard. We'll have to start writing some graph traversals. And yeah. All right. Did you ever pick up a new scope? Oh no, not yet. I gotta figure out my budget for a new scope. That's gonna be expensive. Some basic instruction simplifications? Probably not. Those are usually not really worth the effort. All right, let me figure out what I wanna listen to today. Um. Put this on. Okay. Uh, 
All right. I should be able to listen to music over speakers. I don't think any of that will bleed through the, uh, the microphone. I've got pretty strict uh, setups now that are hardware based, so we shouldn't have to worry about that sort of stuff getting through anymore. And then I turned off everything except for the compressor, so it should be a, a little bit normal, uh, a little bit more normal audio setup here. Um, AFI, wow, AFI is fantastic. Do you have a wrist rest? No, I don't. I don't. I don't need that sort of shit. Okay, so uh, now we can run make, and make's gonna run all of our stuff. It's gonna make sure that we have commented everything. If we get rid of this, well, that comment's probably fine. Um, let's say we get rid of this comment here. If we get rid of that comment, we will get a compiler warning, or in, or in this case, an error. So we require that you document everything now, which is gonna be a little annoying, but it's gonna make our code better in the long run. All right. So there's a couple things that I want to do quick. I want to get rid of all of our unwraps. Now these unwraps are okay because these are intended to be unwrap ors. Uh, so those expect. All right, so this label. Maybe check docs after tests instead. Um, I don't know, I generate the docs and then I run the uh, checks and then I run the tests. I'm okay with this, I don't want it to build. I want to have those check first. Okay, so we have, God, only one of those? Panic, unimplemented, uh, unreachable. Okay, we have an unreachable. And then we also have to make this work on a, uh, we have another branch, which is a bcond. And this has a target uh, and some other stuff. I don't know if it's condition and target or target and condition. It is condition and label, okay. So, uh, we have to make sure we do that. Basically, we do fix up on beacons now. Beacon. Ending fix ups. Okay. So that looks good. All right. All right. So, um, now that we have that, we have kind of this test where we make a graph using our target register state. And then we use thingy, which is the size of our instruction set. We use uh, bytes. This is a byte architecture right now. We don't really know if we want to do 6502 uh, using bytes or not. Do we want to do an 8-bit? Uh, do we want to do an 8-bit or a 16-bit architecture? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, let's find information about the 6502. Actually, let's just look at a 6502 instruction table. And I think we might need the undocumented one as well, but Burke or, hmm. Uh, 6502 registers. Sixteen bit PC. Uh stack pointer. Eight bit. Eight bit accumulator, eight bit index. Uh Y is also eight bit. It's probably what you want. Nest reference guide. Oh hell yeah. Um Oh yeah, exactly that frequency. Oh, that's really cool. Huh. CPU instructions. So this is everything. Yeah, Burke or... Um, what's this? Uh, some of the correlations are easier to see. Yep. Games using, using unofficial opcodes. Oh, they're rare in NES games. Huh. 
Okay, so it looks like we probably won't even have to worry about the undocumented ones, which I'm guessing are in bold. Um, can we do eight bits? If we do eight bits, we double our performance. How much will that matter? Isn't thingy the target output for the IL? Uh, so x86, no, it's just uh, an 8-bit architecture. Let's, hmm. So here's the old 6502 that we used before. And honestly, we might reuse this code because if I'm not mistaken, we didn't have any bugs in this. Um, and this was good code quality, I think. So we can always uh, look through this again. But yeah, we're using like, I think this code's pretty good. To be honest. Hey Desu, how are you doing? Hope you're feeling good. I'm feeling great. We're just getting into the into the thick of it. Here in the name label. Branch. Okay. Mem read six five oh two. Mem write six five oh two. Gerard Butler, thank you so much for the heart. Hell yeah. Hope you're having a good day. Um, Read executable. Get an immediate. So how many times do we work with 16 bits? Um, so PC is 16 bits. Yep. Um everything else is one bit. Read the memory as a 16 bit value and zero extend it. Read eight, read eight. Combine them. So what is the memory 16? That's really interesting. And then memwrite 16. What would those be reading and writing? Oh, those are like Tay. Uh, I guess only addresses are 16 bit. Only addresses. Um. Uh. Huh. How do I want to do this chat? Do I want to do an 8-bit architecture? Nice hat. Hell yeah. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, do we do an 8-bit architecture chat? It'd be insane. We'd be running 24,000 NESs in parallel. Um, how often are memory accesses? We're technically going to be running, uh, two instruct, uh, two, ah, we're going to be running two VMs in parallel as well. Zulvato, thank you so much for the Subarino. Hell yeah. How has your day been? Hope you're having a wonderful day. We've been chilling. We did a hot tub stream. Now we're out of the hot tub because it was hot. And now we're, now we're cooling off. It's still hot. Thank you so much for the Subarino. Um, Albert 16, address, address. Can you store all info in 8-bit? No. So for addresses, we would have to do 16 bits. But we could 
probably do that with two 8-bit registers. You'd be hot no matter what you did wearing that hat. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> we got stores. We got loads. I think it's only addresses that are 16 bits. Um, how bad is it going to be if we try to emulate 16 bits with uh, 8 bits? Like, how often are you loading memory? I think it's a lot, isn't it? Um, that's infinite loop. Actually, we can look at, uh, we can look at this instead. Um, uh, am I, where's the NMI function? Start endless loop. Here it is. Oh, non-maskable interrupt. Um, LDA store, store load. Hmm. Branch not equal. Load or store. There's going to be a lot of memory accesses. You look like a young last miles. Hell yeah, I'm on my way. Memory is loaded in basically all instructions. Yeah. I mean, it's probably almost 50%. One, two, Jesus. So zero page access is easy. Zero page in stack. Remember that zero page in stack. Um, zero page in stack can be done 8-bit, right? So those ones we're okay with. Um... I'd imagine the proof would be roughly equal. Half the bits, twice the NESs. Would be half the speed depending on memory loads and stores. So, I mean, it only matters for 16-bit memory accesses. So anything that's an 8-bit memory access, like the zero page, the stacks, like these, I guess these are 16-bit. Uh, um, Although... Hmm. Holy shit. Since these are constant, it might not be bad. If I do base plus offset addressing or base plus register addressing, um these would all be constants. And if these are all constants, then the constant can be a U size because it's actually just a pre resolved pointer to the virtual memory. Holy shit. I think we can do an 8 bit architecture. Because all we have to do is we have to encode a base address. And then as we only ever have to do like add with carries or emulated 16 bit instructions when we we only have to do that when we actually um load dynamically so like these are dynamic loads but these are dynamic loads with an 8-bit offset in fact i think everything is going to have there's a couple addressing modes that i think can have a 16-bit dynamic offset uh yeah these these the indirects but most of them are not that it's probably like like seriously, probably like 95% of instructions here, if I have a straight U size as an offset and then I have a register offset into those, like, I think we can do it 8-bit, which would be ridiculous because then we're running 64 NESs in parallel. 
we're technically going to run 128 in parallel what we're going to do is we're always going to emit two instructions every instruction because uh it keeps the um it keeps the pipeline full because a lot of these have a, a one cycle latency but half cycle throughput so if we do two instructions let me see if i can demonstrate that if you handle constants and zero page well that sounds pretty good yeah shall we run boink on it <laughs> um All right, check this out, chat. Uh, uh, export Rust flags is, I know you can't see this, that's okay. Target CPU is native, cargo run release. All right. So look at this. Look at this crash. Uh, I have to do, these are just values, so it doesn't optimize them out. Okay. So look at this. This is telling me the iterations per second, or... Yeah, this is the iterations per second. Or iterations per microsecond. I don't know what, whatever it is, it's a, it's a, it's a number. Um, so we have a number here. And we have a number here. And this number here is double this number. And what's interesting about this is that both of these are doing the same thing. One is doing a standard SIMD uh, U3216, which is 512 bits. And then the other one is doing 32 times 32, which is 1024 bits. Now, what's interesting is that this, architect this pr processor only has 512 bit AVX 512 which means that this is actually emulated 1024-bit registers. And how does it emulate it? Well, let's take a look. Um, uh, 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 have you installed cargo as on it sucks it's fucking garbage um okay so when we this is the first loop this is the slow one and you can see that it unrolled quite well it's just doing vp adds in a loop but let's look at the other one here's the other one oh, i just spilled my scotch god damn it i spilled my scotch all right beer right back Spilling my damn scotch. It's all right. I never keep drinks over there, and that's why. I'm spilling my drink. Now it's going to smell like scotch everywhere. Oh, God. No more scotch for you, sir. I know I'm a bad scotch drinker today. It's all right. It's all right, it wasn't much. It was almost done anyways. It wasn't all of it either. What a tragedy. Chat, what a tragedy. It's all chat's fault. All right. Works out for the better. Probably good that I cleaned that area of my desk anyways. All right. What kind of hacker doesn't have a computer that smells like alcohol? God. Uh, hey, can you tell me how to cr create a cross-compiling environment in Gen 2 without using Rustup? I love Rust, but in my opinion, it's not flexible in the core. Rustup is great, but I'm having a hard time reproducing what it does. I mean, it's pretty flexible in the core, but if you want to cross-compile any other language, it's pretty easy. Just get Clang and do dash target and you win. Um... Just, you just get clang, and then you just do dash target, and then you put in your triple, and then you, you're done. 
And now you're cross compiling. But Rust is the best. Rust is the best for doing multi architecture stuff. Wait, aren't you the one that who misspelled science yesterday? Oof! Oof! You're a hot tub streamer now. Look it up. Oh God! I tried to create a cross compiling environment to compile to RPy, and I miserably failed. Hmm. That is hard to say. Build systems are not easy. But I've never really had a problem getting uh, getting cross compiles working, especially with Clang. Okay. Um. It's easy with Rust up, but I can't create it on my own. Oh. Um. If you want to do it in Rust, just use build standard, build std. I don't even use Rust up. I think the only thing that uh, will rival Rust cross compile is Zig. I haven't tried Zig yet. I tried that as well, but forgot why it didn't work. It should work. I've never had it not work. Might have to coerce it a bit, but it should just work fine. All right, crap. Let's see here. Um, all right. So the point that I was trying to make is that by running two VMs interleave is twice the performance as running one VM interleave because instead of having these dependent loads, which take one cycle per, instead you have these independent, not loads, independent operations, which can run in parallel. In fact, these all take half a cycle. And that is why we doubled our performance we have doubled our performance, even though we're doing the same thing. Um, read the Rust e-builds for Gen 2. There's a lot of comments on how to do it. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so we're going to be doing this in our emulator as well. We're going to be running two... Basically, two copies of our emulator interleaved because that will mean that we always have independent loads but or independent accesses between everything, and we'll get some of this going on. Then you have Super Peak Poke written in Rust? Probably. Um... Oh, that was, uh... Uh, I might have actually rewritten that, didn't I? Um... Yeah. That's basically all I did to get it to build. That even got me mem copy and stuff. It was pretty dank. All right. Anyways. Anyways. Uh. Does anyone know the actual state of no alias? H haven't heard anything recently. I think it was on last time I heard. But there were a couple bugs. Oh, it's off again? Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. Burn target is PC plus offset BB. We can do that. Wouldn't be surprising, yeah. Fucking LLVM devs. I tell you what. They found some issues with pin, damn it. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, chat. We're going to try and do this 8-bit. And this might be really hard. This is the last no alias thing I saw. What happened? What borked? God damn. Oh yeah, let's um uh we're gonna do a quick read up on uh Rust 2021. So we're gonna write this project in Rust 2021 just to be ready for it. So let's see what we got. Um Let's see, Rust 2021, what did I have open? There we go, this is what I want. The edition guide, all right. So Rust 2021 hasn't been released yet. Can read more about the plans in here. So let's see what they're doing. Um, I can't believe it's already been three years since uh, 2018. Isn't that fucking crazy? Easy and largely automated. What changes are planned for Rust 2021? Additions to the prelude. Uh, yep. Uh, trying to try from and from iterate going into the prelude. This is fucking awesome. I use these so goddamn aggressively. So I'm really happy about that. Cargo has an opt-in support for a new feature resolver, which can be activated with resolver equals two. It'll be default. What is this? Um. Will it automatically enable features? Wait, will it automatically pull things in too? Whoa, no way. No way. That's actually really cool. Uh, into iterator for arrays. Only references have this. Uh, now they get into iter, which is good. Uh, disjoint captures and closures. Closures automatically capture anything you refer to in their body. Um, it applies to whole structs, even when using a field. Captures, uh, that captures a reference to A and not just AX. Sometimes that's a problem. Whoa! In Rust 2021, they'll only capture what's used? Holy shit! Oh my god. Um that's fucking insane. Pinnock macro uh has some surprises. Um only uses it when it's invoked with more than one argument. There are some differences between them. Okay, interesting. Consistent panic. It no longer has arbitrary expressions. It'll always be a format string. Awesome. Good. Uh, reserving syntax. To make space for new syntax in the future. Reserved uh, prefix identifiers. Uh, it's a breaking change. Oh my god. Are we getting F strings? These are some that you might see in the future. F as a short for format args. God, that would be amazing if we could do this. Holy shit. 
C and Z for null terminated. K for keywords that don't exist yet. Okay. Um, promoting two warnings to hard errors. Use of the dine keyboard keyword uh, to identify trait objects will be mandatory. Woo! Uh, ellipsis syntax for inclusive range patterns is no longer accepted. Been superseded by dot dot equals, which is consistent. Okay. Or patterns and macro rules. Patterns are extended to support uh, pipes. Now says anywhere in the pattern. Whoa. 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 That's pretty sick. Uh, this part affects macro rules since macros can accept these patterns. Pat does not match that. Uh, we did not change the meaning of pat. Instead, we'll make the change in this. Okay, so pat will also match A or B. Okay, nice. So let's take a look at this one. Let's see if there's more stuff. Additions to the prelude. Good. Cargo fix addition. So that will update it. Um, conflicting trait methods. Those are fine. Uh, cargo feature resolver. This will be the default. No longer, uh, okay. Doesn't do all requested features. Okay, nice. Um, wow, okay. Exploring features. Cargo tree command has substantial improvements. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at that. Okay, okay. Uh, you can now print which features each package is using with this. Okay, okay. E with the edges. That's really cool. That's really cool. Into iterator for arrays. Um, okay, that's really good. So we can do that now. I'm probably going to forget that I can do that. Yeah, this is insane. This is actually insane. This is actually fucking insane. Uh, now capture data that needs to be read, which means the following closures will not capture X. This is a no op. Ah, I see. So they won't capture things that don't need to be captured. Um, nice. Nice. Drop order. When it takes ownership of a variable from a variable T, that value is dropped when the closure is dropped, and not when the variable T goes out of scope. Okay, makes sense. Dude, that is insane. That is insane. That's actually a huge change. The panic stuff changing. Reserving syntax, that makes sense. I can't wait for format strings if we get those, especially if we can uh, specify the like variable name inside. No alias is enabled for LVM greater than or equal to 12. Hell yeah. Bear trade objects is an error. This is an error. Yep, that's fine. I didn't use that syntax ever anyways. And or patterns and macro rules. Nice. IRC, they disabled no alias uh, for a beta to give it more time to be tested. Oh, interesting. Okay. Fuck yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's get this. Let's, uh... How do I, how do I use this? Um... Do I have to do addition equals in workspace? 
S-strings are comfy, comfy to work with. Yes, they are. It's probably going to hurt performance because a lot of people are going to do dynamic allocations now, but... Additions. Where do I put additions? I know I can put it in here. Uh... Not stabilized. Oh, are we not ready yet? I thought I saw uh, there was like a command that I think described. I forgot where I saw what to do. Um, that. Uh, I thought I saw a cargo command. Here we go. This is what I want. Well, we'll update nightly and then we'll do this. Okay, we do have to do edition 2021. Get status, get and it don't get uh let's do this. Okay. Okay, uh get add cargo lock cargo tomal I'll make file. Get status. Then cargo config. Uh, cargo config. Get status. Get commit am. Initial commit. LSL. Get log. Okay. Now we can run this. Um. So I don't know if I can do this for a workspace. Let's see. Package this at the top above package. Uh, that. I don't know why they said to put it at the top, but it has to be in package, right? They say above package. Hmm. Um. F for master branch. Yep. Main is superior. Yeah. You're overwriting it. Oh, wait. It was in there. There we go. There we go. All right. So that means we can do some of this. Uh, state. I'm really curious to see this shit. It's gonna be really cool. Um, this would have worked regardless. Print. Okay, and then test. Ooh, U32. State. Oh, it's target state. Uh, 
Oh, print line. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this wouldn't have worked before, would it? Right? Uh, I guess maybe this was still okay. Um, ooh. Try this. Okay, Russ, you're too smart. Um... Yeah, Tess is getting dropped due to NLL. Yeah. Whatever. It'll be more lenient. I don't know the specific... The specifics. Needs to be not copy. Oh, yeah, that's probably fair. That's probably fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anyways. Don't really need to test it. Okay, so. What we want to do is... Um... What do we want to do, chat? Reg read, reg write, add sub and or zor. Let's make sure we have every instruction that we possibly could need. Um, nope. Immediate. Add sub and or zor. Shift. I might do a zero extend and a sign extend. Did you add cargo features back? Yeah, I didn't remove it. Um, I think I'll do zero extend and sign extend. Um, all right. Let's do um, sign extend by a word, which is woe. So this is um, interpret uh, the first aisle register arguments as a Whoa, bit number and sign extend it to the uh, full width. Uh, full architectural width. Uh, and zero extend it. Okay. Nice. Um, it's the same as an immediate kind of. So this is a sign extend value. Val, and this will be a reg. And this will re return a reg. This will push a sign extend with the immediate, and then we're gonna have uh, A and input uh, register, reg, 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 register default? What was it? Reg default, okay. Okay, so this will be sign, extend, I'll be value, zero extend the value, uh, this will be the value, and then this will be zero extend. All right, so, uh, eight, six, uh, inputs. What is inputs? Is that a tuple? No, it's probably an array. 
Damn me and my strong, strong typing. Okay, nice. Uh, emulator. So on woe, we need to sign extend and zero extend. We're gonna do... Uh, well, this is a word, uh, cons bits self, um, number of bits in word. Okay, and these are all U32s. Number of bits inward, that. Bam. Okay. So now we have the number of bits in a word. And then we're going to have to implement... Uh, Sign extend self um, interpret self as RHS bits and sign extend to the full uh, self width. And zero extend it. Okay. All right, chat, make sure I get these implementations correct. Correct? 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 Uh, sign extend. All right, chess, this is a U32. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to do self shift uh, by self bits minus RHS. Crikey. Uh, as self signed, I can say STY. Shift by self bits minus RHS. 32 minus 1 32 minus 1 so that would be 31 so we shift to the left by 31 then we turn it into a sign type and then we shift it to the right uh as ty chat how does it look is that right can i con stuff in these no not in traits um, it's okay. This will get cons propped. So self shift left by bits minus RHS, shift to the right by bits minus RHS. Okay. Then, uh, we have those now. Sign extend, zero extend. Did we do it, chat? Sign extend uh, bits. This is equal to input zero dot sign extend bits as u32. Looks good to me, but I've had a lot of rum. Uh, Okay. Uh, oh, that's not going to be a... These are not woes. These are U32s. Bam! Bam! 355. This is a U32. U32. And then here... Um, these will never be dynamic, so what we're going to do is... Uh, assert 
m is greater than one and m is less than or equal to less than or equal to whoa bits is that correct uh equal to one okay so if it's greater than or equal to one if it's greater than or equal to one then we can sign extend it otherwise it's zero and we don't know what to do there this will guarantee that we always do bits minus one and then we make sure that it's less than bits so we always have at least one that we're shifting we're always shifting at least one and we're never shifting max bits i think that's now correct um valid number of bits for sign extend or zero extend and this will be these will all be const propped by the compiler so those don't really have a cost so now what we can do is uh we'll just do a let b is equal to il dot sign extend a and we're going to interpret a as a four bit number it's not going to do anything uh we're going to say this is five and then we'll do il dot reg right reg under right set con set under con branch conditional we'll be more explicit i think I think this is good. Zero extend. Okay, now everything has underscores. 445. Reg write. Target reg. Uh, AX. And we'll write B to that. Okay. And we should see a 5. That makes sense. Now we're going to treat that as a 3-bit number. So now this should be uh, F something. FD. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And then if we did zero extend, this should still be a five. That's good. And then if we make this zero extend and treat it as two bits, then this should be a one because we're actually truncating that. Perfect. Okay. All right, chat. You like that? Did we do good? Did we go do good, Dad? Um, yeah, yes. Thanks so much for coming back to Twitch. When I see you live, it makes me so happy. You've influenced me to get into learning Rust from scratch, OS development, and writing my own DDL injection. You mean DLL injection? Hell yeah, I'm all for it. That sounds fucking awesome. Uh. Okay, now, test-driven development. Okay, so, now, shift left, shift right, shift arithmetic right. Um, seems like we picked up some peeps from the hot tub category. Hell yeah. Sh shout out to all the thirsty people out there. Living, living their day one hot tub at a time. Mmm. All right. All right, chat. Hmm. Did we do it, chat? What do we want to do now? What do we have to do? We don't need multiplies and divides yet. We'll need a knob, but that's literally just add a knob. Um, I don't think we'll need a trap. Actually, we might. 
Um. We'll need a branch indirect. But branch indirect is pretty easy. Okay. I think we did everything correct here. So, what do we want to do next? We could... Uh, we could do optimizations. We could do lifters. I think we're going to do optimizations. Go back to the hot tub. <laughs> You know, we can always, we can always go back to the hot, that's actually a little hot. Um, how do we want to do optimizations here? So I was thinking about making a lossy emulator. Uh, and basically what I was thinking is that every field could return a none. And then you propagate things that were able to be computed. I don't know how I'm going to optimize. Like optimizing something like uh, add AX5 sub AX4. I don't really know how I want to optimize this. Because this requires making an expression, I think. And that's hard. Um, I'm trying to think of a generic optimization strategy that would work for this. Hmm. Cons prop. This is more complex than cons prop. Because we have to understand uh, how the ads and the subs interact. Never heard you talk about Golang. Any general thoughts? I think it's a good language. I think Rust is just better in every way. <laughs> All right. What do we want to do here for this? Holy shit, I got Moses stream. What's up? What's up, party dip? How's it going? This is more like A plus equals 5, A minus equals 4. Cons prop would be uh, if there was A plus equals 5 minus 4. Yeah. Um, This is not super hard to optimize, but I'm trying to figure out if I can do this in a super generic way. And I think you need to make an expression. Um... Would you say I have a lot of unfinished projects? No, we finish every project here on this stream. Uh, you missed the hot tub stream? Yeah, you missed the hot tub stream. That was the best part of the stream. Finish in quotes? What's, what's that supposed to mean? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Define finish. Chat. Chat. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do me like this. Um. That doesn't lie. Yeah, so how would I do this? The printer is sad. Aww. What do you mean? The printer's happy. At least you finished the hot tube stream. The hot tube stream. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
What about Fuzz OS? Was that ever finished? Fuzz OS is still in development. What do I want to do here? Do I care about optimizing this? I'm not really. Um, it's probably not worth it. I don't think. I hope FuzzOS will end up post, uh, pushed to GitHub. Maybe. We'll see. Depends on my mood. If I feel like chat has deserved it. Yeah, I meant DLL. I wrote a cheat for Battlefront 2 that stopped my team from losing score using only Rust. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Did you finish the WoW healing add-on? I wrote a bunch of add-ons. Uh, I mean, I've got ones I want to write, but I've got a shit ton that I've already written. Pretty happy with all the ones I've written so far. Doesn't care about optimizing code. Who are you and what have you done to Gamoza? What do you mean? We've never optimized code on this stream. That's not what we do here. Oh yeah, we don't need foo anymore. Want the 65028DC instruction? Generate two ads where one adds the care uh or one adds the carry, which uh, may or may not be zero, potentially. Um, that, that's it's complex. I I don't know. Like add with carry shouldn't be too bad. We're we're not gonna be too crazy about the lifting perf yet. We're gonna just get our IL working. Uh, we're gonna write our. We're going to write Join the red side. Stop making me want to learn Rust. Heathens! You can't call us heathens! Party dip! Okay. Chat, you ready to write a fucking insane emulator? Raise your hand if you're ready to write an insane emulator, chat. Raise your hand. Raise your hand, chat. Damn, no one wants to write. Okay, uh, we're just going to do a hot tub stream. Um, <laughs> raise his hand. Yay. <laughs> Oh, we got a show of hands. What the fuck is show of hands? That's a new one to me. What is the correct thinness for an apple slice? People like thick or thin lines. For thick or thin apple slices. Limes. Thick? As thin as possible? Thin? Is this thin? With peanut butter? Apples? A quarter of an apple? Holy shit. A quarter of an apple? Desu's a fucking savage. Okay. Um. Hmm. So, what I'm thinking is thicker thin, just cover that bitch in chocolate. Wait until you learn that half the time I don't even cut them up, just eat them whole. That's... That's acceptable, but wrong. I only apple eat... I only eat apples in four pieces, too? God damn. Some backwards-ass people here. Mm. 
Dip the apple slices in honey? Ooh. Whole apples are for horses? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, chat. Let's see. So I'm thinking about writing an emulator that every time I'm thinking about writing an emulator where the um I'm thinking what I might do is when you request a register, you can get a none, meaning it's an unknown value, which is like kind of like symbolic. Um, let's try it. Let's try it, chat. Uh, let's try it. This is a, this is a weird technique, and we're, we're going to see what happens here. Um, okay, so we're going to do IL. Our register writes. Our register writes. Need to be propagated. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try this. We're gonna add. We're gonna take five and six. We're gonna add those two together, A and B. That's gonna give a C, and then we're gonna write C into AX. Uh huh, uh huh. All right, so this is a very, very sophisticated program here. Um. And we'll put these prints back in just for funsies. Okay, five, six, and then reg right. Okay. So instead. We want to do a couple optimization passes. Um Oh, let's do a conditional branch. Let's do a conditional branch as well. We're going to do, uh, let's, uh, we'll do aisle.branch conditional five condition equal, if A is equal to B, then we're going to branch to foo, and then we're going to do let foo is aisle.allocate named. One, two, three, four. This should fail. Um, treat named label, named label. Okay, so that's not gonna be resolved and it's not a condition. Oh, uh, I guess. We did this. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, that looks good. That looks good. And we're going to add A and B. We're going to store them into C. And we haven't filled in everything. And then we're going to have at the end here, we'll do aisle dot uh, create named label one, two, three, four. Uh, and then I guess, uh, aisle.label. So we're going to create it at the current location. All right. So that's going to branch conditionally to five, which is at the end. Um, everything has been resolved. And that looks good. So we run all these instructions. We end up doing our add because they're not equal. And then we end up writing the B to AX. So what we're going to do is IL source, and this is going to be um, lossy emulator. Lossy emulator, yeah. An emulator which can handle when values are unknown. 
Let's let's see if this is gonna work. This might not work, chat. Uh, uh, emulator. What does loss mean in this context? Sometimes we won't know what value certain values are. We won't know like what a register value is. Um, T's that's target state. Uh, we're gonna do option. <laughs> Uh, 36. Yep, and this is going to be lossy. Ah, uh, we can just have that be scoped. Uh, this is going to be a back option. Whoa. I don't know. This is going to be really weird. We'll see if this works. I'm kind of scared. Uh, so like an uninit flag? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, Paramore feel fucking good, dude. Okay. It's gonna be uh get reg, that's good. Set reg, that's good. This is actually probably pretty close. I don't think this is actually gonna be as bad as I think. But uh, we're going to have some branching, which is going to be really interesting. Uh, this is going to be none. Okay. So in here, we're going to do and then x. Oh, this is just map. This is not and then. This is map. Um, actually, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I've got two nuns. Um... Um, can't wait till we start fuzzing Mario. Hell yeah. I'm super excited to, I'm really excited to do these optimizations, but we'll see, uh, No method name signed. That we can map. I don't know the best way I want to do this. I understand the point of the iron, what you're trying to do. How does an emulator load a ROM? Get the emulator, uh, does the register actions that the NES uh, would, but how do you take the binary and actually start playing it? Uh, you just load it up into memory and you start executing at an instruction. Can't wait to see SSA optimized to pure register usage. Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting. I'm very curious how this is gonna turn out. Um. I'm very curious how this is going to turn out. Um, F returns an option, you. 
How the fuck do I do this? Chat? Chat? Uh... Does that work? No, uh, this could be, mm. fuck. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. That's, that's good. That looks nice. Fuck. Uh, is there a better way to do this? Ooh. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. Never used this before. This is new. Okay. Sick. 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 How fucking cool is that? This is actually a relatively new API. All right, zip it. Zip that, then map A and B, and then do the math. Fuck yeah, chat. What does zip do? If both of them are sum, then it returns uh, a sum with the tuple. It's pretty advanced. It's pretty damn advanced. Or Zor. Uh, map A B. Overflow sure. Overflow sar. Uh, dot map X. Uh, map This is really weird, chat. I don't know if this is going to work. It's going to be really hard when we do branches. Okay. Match condition. Uh, dot zip. Uh, values is equal to this. Match the uh, match values and the condition. A. A B. Fuck yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna work. Chat, this is gonna work. Don't get all scared on me. This is gonna work, chat. Will it work well? I don't know. Will it work? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that has to be a sum. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Um.
Oh. Parens. You gonna translate your host your aisle to host instructions in your JIT? Or just write out the functionality in Rust and let your constant propagation SSA optimize it for you? We're gonna have to JIT it out. That'll be the next stage. Um We'll be jitting it out soon. Um, option, yep. Hmm. Uh, bop, bop. No, no, didn't fit. Okay. And these should be at one for it. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, okay. Then we need to figure out what we want to return here. Oh my god, I'm going through music so fast. Um values. All regs I is one. Okay. Uh, you fucker. Yep, and we don't need A and B anymore. Okay. Try block when. Yeah, I really want try blocks. They're going to be really nice. I think that's fine. Um, okay, a bink and a bink. Okay. Commas. You look hot when you write that optimized Rust code. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I'm here to look cute. Oh my god. If condition done. Oh, 
What? Uh, what? 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 Uh, some this dog. Fifty five. Yes, yes, let's fucking go. Large data bank hosting with a party of 33. Hell yeah. How was your stream? Did you have a fun stream? What were you working on today? Some data? Some banking? Making some large data? You came at a good time? Oh yeah. <laughs> right as our code started to work. Exactly what we wanted. All right. Target state, this is gonna be loss emulator. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This is gonna work, chat. This is gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh, fuck. Uh. Actually, we don't have to do that. And then target state, this target state has to be a, a lossy copium. We're in some uh, code review tools and database debugging tools. Tool day, hell yeah. Gotta love the tools. I'm all about tool day. That is a good day. It's always good when you're writing stuff to make your life better. Emulator. Oh. And this is lossy emulate. Woo! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Um. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Some B. Oh, this is gonna be good! I told you it would work just the rum. Yeah, I still got a little scotch left. Woof! 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 Uh, let me... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we just make a new graph. Um... Graph new. Ah, uh, default. Default. Okay. <laughs> He's gone full Balmer peak. Ah, <sighs> uh, cannot infer type parameters. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. This is gonna be a turbo. A turbo. May I ask if you need options on regs? Uh, we'll get there in a second. We'll get there in a second. We'll get there in a second. I'm leading you on, Desu. I'm leading you on, because that's what I do to chat. I've got a plan. <laughs> Here's the thing. Whenever I'm not telling you what I'm doing, it's because I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. And I'm afraid that I'm just going to screw something up. And if I don't tell you what I'm doing, I can sweep it under the rug. And I can pretend like I wasn't trying to do any of this. Um,
God, this song's so good. Genius Strat. Thanks, Tesla Motors. <laughs> oh, damn. Check out the Zip With API. Look at this shit. Look at this. This is fresh. Self, another option, and then a function to transform it. That. That's pretty damn cool. That's pretty damn cool. Just hit on two until it compiles again. Oig. Oig. Pog. <laughs> um, how do I want to do this? Uh... Stay in the same. Uh, new graph is what I called it. Uh... Oh, print line with a new line. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Empty, good. I'll just say ng for new graph. Oh, it's gonna be so cool, Chad. It's gonna be so cool. Is everyone gonna be able to handle this? Everyone holding on to your seats? I already peed a little. Oh my god, chat. Misbehaving. Uh, up in hooks. Okay. Immediate, immediate branch condition. Good, 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 good. If Taylor Swift. <laughs> Next to dot graph? Yeah, we will do that in a second, actually. We got to do a graph traversal for that, but that's super easy. Uh, operation M. Uh... Eight bit music. Oh, I've been listening to some T Swift. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Yeah, that's what I like to see. Um. Ba -da 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 Come on. What's Clippy saying? Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yes! Yes! Fucking works! We haven't done the hard part yet, so we don't uh, don't worry about it yet, chat. We haven't done the hard part yet. Mm 
We haven't done it yet. I can't believe we have tests. It's just because it's a library. Rebel Elder, don't get too caught up. We're not writing tests for this shit. Um... That's just so the CI won't complain. <laughs> Assert one is two. Uh, oh. Can I do this? No, I can't. So I can do mod opt, and then I need an opt mod or an opt here. Yep. Uh, optimization passes. Mod DCE. I'm listening to Stained for the people who are wondering what I was listening to. A little bit of Stained. I know it's real. Can I blame this on mama? <laughs> I've had a big stand kick recently. Their music's actually fucking good. Uh, I do use this after mods. Been a while since I could. Alright, a lot of these are not used, and that's fine. Okay, uh. Hubfn optimize mute self. Okay, we need to this pending fix ups. Bam. Uh, for optimizations. Bam. Okay. Uh. Um. Uh, uh, bop, 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 bop. Uh. That's C style, we gotta do this. There we go. I can do this, right? Uh, well, any. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. All right, so these are the optimization passes. This is uh, perform optimizations. Okay. Might, might make another trait so I don't have these uh, gross implementations here, but uh, uh, FNDCE, me itself. Uh, this is. I deleted something somewhere. T. Well, what up? Uh. Uh, ops return true if they modify anything? Exactly. Uh, private associated function. Um, yeah. Uh, pub. How do you do this? Pub, uh, super? Is that correct? I think that's correct. I don't think I've ever done that before. Okay. Now, at the end of this, we're going to do new draft.optimize. 
Good. So that obviously didn't do anything. And now what we need to do is we need to know whether or not operations are used or values are used. Um, and unfortunately, we're going to have to do graph traversal to do this correctly. But let's start. We're going to start with the basics. Um, we're going to do four... Hmm. Um. Hmm. Opt. Hmm. Non volatile. If the operation is not volatile, volatile returns true. Uh, in this context, uh, volatile means uh, we could even say pure. We could say impure. If the operation is not pure, uh, output is deterministic with deterministic inputs. If the output is pure, is deterministic with this. Um, 79. Then this function returns uh, true. This lets us know what types of instructions can be pruned via DCE. I really don't want to match on self. I'm trying to think of a good way around that. And I think the best thing I can do is group all of the pure instructions together. Um... These are all pure, these are all pure, these are pure, this is pure. All right, all these are pure. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Uh, self, immediate, or, oh, um, matches? Is it this? That's a thing. Uh, yeah. We got some generics here, probably the same shit. Looks good to me, capital S. Fuck yeah. Uh, self or, okay. All right. Media does no side effects. Add does no side effects. Sub and or zor not. Good. Okay. So. Um. What are we gonna do? Um.
Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Here's we where we start doing more performance based things. Um, we're gonna have a cache list of. I think at the start of optimizations, we're going to do a draft reversal. Um, hmm. So, I need to know a list of every reachable instruction. And that's relatively difficult. Hmm. I still don't know if this is going to work. I know DCE will work. DCE is really easy, really straightforward. <clears throat> um... NES is Nintendo Entertainment System? Yep, exactly. Optimize, pure. Um, yeah, hopefully this is a relatively cheap operation because it should just be checking the variant. And they're all next to each other. DCE. Hmm. Um. New camera angle, but I wanted to stare at the back of the beautiful head. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a new uh a new camera mount. A slightly better angle. Will this run on the Switch? Mm, with the right exploit? Um, Brandon's emulator system. Yes, yes. Fuck, how do I want to do this? Um. Hmm. Let's just start. If I do a graph traversal, what do I want to store? The reachable parts of the graph? I have an exploitable switch. What version you got? Fuck. Chat, how am I going to do this? Why is this so hard? Um, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to set up optimization structures. So I think we want to start with the graph traversal. Because hard things are more fulfilling. What chip is the switch running? No idea. Generate optimization data structures. Uh, caching information about the graph. Okay, so what we're going to do is traverse the graph. And we're going to eliminate unreachable instructions, I think. Um, right? We're going to eliminate unreachable instructions. Then once we have done that, we know we have a dense graph. 
Do I even want to eliminate unreachable instructions? Uh, do those structures need to be updated and reconstructed after each successful optimization pass? No, we're going to keep them in sync. So we're going to have APIs that allow us to like remove or change registers, and they are going to update the databases. That is the biggest reason why I'm writing this. Um, like this is, uh, unfortunately it's a pretty hard problem, but let's start, uh, reachable is, um, No. No. Uh. Okay. Uh, for inst in. Uh. Self dot instructions dot dot um oh. um da -da -da -da. Okay. Um. Uh, reach, reachable te is equal to true, uh, match self instructions te um operation be conned uh to targets uh to explore dot push to targets to explore dot push t plus one uh dot zero as you said oh it's this uh condition and then the target oops or was it target condition Uh, I'm not sure I understand, but could you traverse the source code backwards? And for each marked or impure instruction mark its dependencies? Yeah, that's effectively what we're going to do. We're going to build the dependency graph of all the operations. This traversal is really bad. Um... Start getting rid of some of these warnings and errors. Inputs, condition, 
operation. Okay, four operation and DCE. Okay, yep, yep. Pure's not used. It's okay. I'll be using things below us. VX is not used there. That's fine. Uh, branch condition and then operation branch uh, targets to explore dot push uh, targets dot zero is use size. Okay. Uh, okay, index out of bounds. That makes sense. Um, we're just gonna do uh, aisle dot branch uh, aisle dot label. Okay, that infinitely loops. Never thought I'd do fractional nanoseconds. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so this... Start there, go through there. Reach branch. Queue up two things. Um, And then this won't work with loops. So let's throw a loop in here quick. Um, Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um, I wonder if I need a vec deck here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it really matters. Um, if reachable TE, continue. Uh, skip already explored instructions. Is that true? Is that true? Yes. That's fine. Okay, reachable TE is true. Update reachable states. Okay. Okay, yep. All right, um. Trap and I don't know. See, make a trap instruction. Hey, a Cyrevolt, how's it going? And this is gonna be a word, a trap with a constant code, and up to two, uh, up to two. Uh, eh. and one IL register, and one dynamic IL register. Fifty-five. Okay, operation. Trap, uh, code this, A is this, print trap, this, this, A code. We're just gonna panic for now on traps. Uh, operation trap, code, Panic. Uh, panic, and then we'll do a uh, code and uh, input zero. 
Maxistra, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Hell yeah, glad you're enjoying the content, or at least willing to support shitty content if you're not enjoying it. Um. Okay. Uh. Code. Well. Valreg. Self instructions, push, operation, trap, code, inputs, val, input, uh, reg, default. Uh, add a trap which will exit the VM when executed with a constant code and a dynamic bell. Oh, Clippy, you bitch, huh, 14. This is an opt, okay. Literal out of range, yeah, that makes sense. 13. Beautiful. Panicked at 19, some 11. That makes sense. So that is our special, uh, special code. Um, I'm going to hex these for funsies. Okay, 13 and some B. Um... Okay. Nice hat. Hell yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really like this hat for some reason. Break. Break. We're gonna lose the trap. Um. That's okay. Push up input. Okay. Then when we do a traversal operation trap blah blah uh Nothing to explore after a trap. Fuck yeah. Reachable. Okay. And true, 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 true. That would make sense. Um, we're gonna actually just do aisle dot optimize. So we're working on the unoptimized aisle. Just look at that. Or the unpropped aisle. Four sixty six. Uh, no whoa, no whoa. Um, this is state. Okay. Uh, we just don't need state or target state. Let's comp those out temporarily. See what happens here. More warnings. More errors. Um, you missed the hot tub. Yeah, we had a hot tub stream to start it out. Okay. True. 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 Looks good. And then if we were to add another trap afterwards, because this is allowed, we should have true and a false. Nice. Um, nice, nice, nice. So on a branch, we can go to either on, or on a conditional branch, we can go to either path. On a branch, we can go here. And then on a trap, there's nothing to explore afterwards. Uh, then everything else, uh, everything else, 
Everything else, just explore the next instruction. And that is pretty good. So, false. Okay. So, now we have a database of what is reachable. Um... Okay. Um What else do we want to compute while we're doing this? Yeah, we want to compute everything right now. We want to do everything. Um Um, where each instruction is reachable from? Yeah, I'm thinking about that. I want to have like edges. Um, we're exploring all of this. So I want to know um hmm It's going to be faster, I think, to look this up than to compute it. Um, that doesn't seem fitting for exploration. Hell yeah. Update. Um, fetch the instruction. Update. Um, What do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Um, update uh, pure information. Uh, pure inst t equals inst dot pure. Uh, inst dot zero dot pure. Bam. Okay, so we have reachable, we have pure, uh, pure, I think I can say pure, I don't know why, I don't know why Vim's being a bitch, I'm pretty sure pure is fine, I don't think that's a reserved key keyword, is it? I don't think so. All right, true, true, okay, reachable. And then these are the pure instructions. Beautiful. And then we'll update all of these things. We're gonna keep these, uh, we're gonna keep these updated. We've seen the eGraphs good library. You define equivalencies for graph structures and a fitness for each. It can output an equivalent graph with the best score. Written in Rust 2, oh, interesting. Okay, let me see here. Uh... How would this work in dynamic dispatch? What do you mean? Like indirect jumps? That would uh, that would be a new entry into a, a different graph. That's treated specially. That's not part of this graph. We don't give a shit about that. Probably have out-of-date syntax highlighting. When it highlights crate is red. 
Yeah. Doesn't understand 2018. Interesting. Actually, quit your job? Yeah, I quit my job. Zero was an early keyword? Okay. Um... Okay. Reg use. To be honest, if I'm doing this initial pass, maybe I don't have to have the, maybe I can use the enum based IL. Um, for input and inputs. Um, all pure instructions have uh exactly one uh il register output some more streams then eh, maybe maybe um for input and uh inst inputs inputs if inst up here Uh, for each input and inputs, if input is not equal to, um, reg, cur reg, make sure it's less than max, uh, reg type max. Reg type. If it's not equal to reg type max, then reg use of To be honest, I could probably um I could I don't know, I could maybe go to the enum variant. If I'm pre-caching this information, then I might want the aisle to just be easier to work with. Cause then we'll worry about performance and we can transform it to a, a different format. This is 6502. Uh, this is any architecture. Um, Fifty two input dot zero. That's a whoa? No. Inputs. Okay. Uh, for each input, if it's not max, and then inputs default should be max. Yep, default is max. So if it's not max, then we know that that register is used. Uh, oops. Uh, regu. Reg under use. Reg under use. Reg under use. So this is going to tell me if the result of a operation is used. Yep, used, used, used. And those are all pure. Is this on GitHub? It isn't yet. Uh, reg use. I think that's good. Knowing where it's used is pretty huge, but I don't know if that's worth the cost.
Good night, Gamozo in chat. Almost 2 a.m. here. Hell yeah. Um. Do I own regs map to real regs at all? Not yet. No. That'll, that'll, I mean, eventually I'll have to write a register allocator, but, uh, not yet. Okay, let's try, uh, let's take a look at the lossy emulate. Let's see what this has when we optimize that one. Reg used, false, 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 true, false. Um, and then I'm going to do reg use or not pure TE. And let's just do what is pure. Ah! Uh, pure T is, is pure. And we're going to say is not is pure. Um, No, that's not what I want. Uh, reg use input dot zero as you size is equal to if it's not equal to that or it's not is pure. And this doesn't have to be binary. Um, if the output of this instruction is used, uh, if the, yeah, if we have observed a register being used, or, oh, we can't do is peer on this. Okay. And this can just be this. Eh, I like this more. Okay. So this is going to uh, update register usage for our inputs. Um, update register usage for ourself. If we are not pure, set that the output of ourself is used. Uh, reg use t e is true uh is pure uh or equals is pure okay so now oh uh, sorry if it's not pure Um, true, 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 false, false. So this is the last, this is a reg write. Um, I just got a triangle and open GL. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Love that animated maple story vid. Hell yeah. We're going to do more of those in the future too. Do I all registers? Uh, oh, I already read that. Isle regs are just an Isle construct, yeah. Now try Vulcan, don't. <laughs> um, I should have a reg right. Um... Um, what are we doing here, chat? What are we doing, chat? Um, reg use. Or equals not pure. So those 
are set. Oh, it never gets to the second trap. Ah. So we have a reg right and this. But one of these should be regu. Right? M, 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 reg. Uh, we have the reg right in the trap. And we have an immediate. Um... And that outputs three, and this consumes a three. Zero, one. Whoa. Yep. Uh, that's, uh, that's just a bug. That's easy to fix. Um, let's do this for now. Yeah, lossy emulate. Uh, what do we need to plug here? Uh Okay. Good. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh reg usages. Good, 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 good. What's up, Light of Hell? How are you doing? Here, true, true, false, true, false, false, true, uh, false. This looks good. We can reach these. We can't reach this. Um. Fuck. Reg use, I think, has to be a uh, use size. Or a U32 is reasonable. Um, so then that, we'll get rid of this concept then. This will be plus equals one. Uh, well, it's almost 4 a.m. and I can't sleep. Oh, no. Uh, oh, you 32. Okay. Okay, now we have reg usages two two zero two zero zero zero. What font are you using your terminal? No idea. I think terminus, whatever's default. Can you upload your missing VODs to YouTube? Uh I really only have the last one, which I just haven't uploaded yet. Oh, we haven't done shit. We haven't streamed in so long. Uh push that, push that, push that, push that. The helicopter stuff? Oh, I might have those still. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have those. Okay. I completely forgot about those. I thought I uploaded those. <laughs> I guess I fucked right off. <laughs> um... Okay, reachable states. All right. Hmm. How do I want to do this, chat? We have good information. We can do DCE already. Uh, so what we can do is... Let's just, uh, let's throw some dead shit in here. Let's do s D. We'll just allocate another immediate. And we should have an unused immediate that is pure. Um, let's do this. So we're going to commit these to the optimization states. going to be in here we're going to implement this on graph um uh 
Uh, optimization state temporaries. Uh, reachable. Vec. Bool. Um, tracks. Which locks are, uh, which instructions can be reached? Uh, tracks, which instructions are pure? Uh, okay, um, then this, uh, tracks. Uh, usages of each aisle register. Um, indexed by aisle register. Indexed by instruction index. Indexed by instruction index. Okay. Okay. Op temp optimizations. Temporary storage. Optimization. Opt temp Okay. Let me get opt is self optimization. Opt dot reachable clear. Opt dot peer clear. Opt reg use clear. Opt reachable resize. Um, to explore. Uh, used for graph traversal. Um, okay, op dot to explore dot clear. Uh, resize false self instructions len. Is it the other way? The other way. I think I got it. Okay, reachable. We have pure uh, reg use zero, and then this is to explore. Uh, reset optimization state. Okay, 45, self, 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 oh, these aren't self, these are opt, okay, Come on, come on, uh, temp opt. That's definitely gonna be immutable. That doesn't need to be a mutable assignment. Mutable binding, fuck. Knew I had that wrong. I don't know why I always have that wrong. I'm pretty sure they change it every week and I, I'm still wrong. Uh, to explore is actually empty. Op dot to explore dot push zero. Uh, this is start exploring at the roots. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now DCE. 
for I I N. Uh, hmm. For. Um. Uh, reach. Pure regu. In. Ah. For I I and zero dot self dot instructions. Dot when. Uh, let me mute. I let opt is mute self dot op, uh, opt temp. Got access to optimization structures. Then we're gonna say if opt dot reach i i if it's not reachable or it is not peer or or op dot regu is greater than zero bc Uh, yeah. yeah, let's do this for now. Fuck it. Uh, reachable. Okay, if it's not reachable, or it's not pure, or it's used, the output of it is used, then continue. Okay, so we have a DC candidate, which is M6. Uh, that's really good. Okay, so now we're gonna do pub fn nop uh me fn nop uh replace an instruction with a nop uh replace with nop uh mute self i i uh inst u size uh and propagates the changes necessary okay um this function assumes that you're replacing a pure instruction and thus it will uh, uh, pure instruction and thus assumes that you're replacing a pure instruction uh, as part of a DCE pass. Uh, yeah. Function assumes that you're replacing a pure instruction and thus um will not check if whatever i think that's fine uh propagate the changes necessary in the optimization database okay so what are the things that we currently track we track reachable um uh which is reachable okay so what we'll do is self dot instructions i i is equal to uh, operation nop inputs default. So that will actually nop it out, but of course that ain't correct. Chat, why is that not correct? Oh, we don't have a nop. We don't have a nop. Uh, nop. Uh, do nothing. Bam. All right. SPI source emulator. Uh, operation. You ready to see how we implement nop? Done. I'm a flossy emulator. Done. Okay. 105. Uh, this is inst. Replace it with a knob. Uh, okay. 
and then inputs we got that now god i'm going through so much music okay dc candidate it's good now we're gonna do uh self replace with nop i i And we can't do that with that fucking opt borrow. <sighs> um. Okay. Okay. Uh, print, we're going to pretty print IL dot instructions. There's a not. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Um. Let me. Changed is false. Changed is true. Changed. Okay, if it's not reachable or it's not pure, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it's going to keep trying to optimize that instruction, obviously. Um... Okay, I think I might mark a knob as pure. Uh, self dot opt temp dot pure inst is true. Uh, mark the knob as pure so we don't try to optimize. Uh, which is reachable and has no uses of the outputs. Uh, replace the instruction. So this will set the peer, uh, actually set this default as impure, so we don't try to optimize it anymore. Done. Bam. So that looped through, that replaced that knob. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's see what we can do here. This is not gonna work yet. All right. We have an ILR adjust. And the reason we have an ILR adjust is because down here, um, uh, we can just do a self dot, uh, state, uh new il new graph dot nop uh replace the branch with a nop okay we'll go here add a nop that does literally nothing pub fn nop mute self self instructions push Operation nop inputs default. Bam. Okay, we have another ILR adjust. And the reason we have an ILR adjust, once again, is because we're moving things around. Uh, we can actually do uh, replace, yeah. Uh, replace it with a knob. And then we take the target. Fuck yeah! Okay. Oh my god. Nop, 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 nop. Immediate 11, reg right, trap. Fuck yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, chat. Fuck yeah, chat. How fucking cool is that? How fucking cool is that? God, we're so goddamn smart. Um... Okay, this is uh, remove all nops and perform I'll register fix ups. So fucking smart, chat. We're so fucking smart. Uh, replace all nops, uh, delete all nops, remove nops, and apply register fix ups. Brain the size of a nation. <sighs> Moses' brain just got another wrinkle. Really, what matters about this is the performance. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oops. Not produce. Now this is hard. I think this is fine. We set that as pure. Um, it has no uses of the output. Uh. Um, so we don't have to update the output, we don't have to update, or we don't have to update the register use when we replace a NOP, and we don't have to update the, um, peer instruction, which is reachable. So we don't have to propagate the reachable state, we don't need to propagate the regu state because we're not deleting anything, and we don't need, uh, and we update the peer state, and then everything else is fine. Now, NOP reduce, um, what we need to do here is... Um, so I think I did this n, n cubed in my last implementation. This one's not going to be n cubed. So this is going to be let mute reg adjust or removals is equal to zero. For ii and zero dot dot self dot instructions dot len o of n. Yes, exactly. Yep. This can do, we can do this in o of one. Uh, yeah, um, if self ins, uh, yeah. Uh, no, don't need to enumerate. Okay, um, we're gonna do a if ins is equal to operation nop. Yeah, if it's not equal to this, continue. Skip non nops. Woo. Uh, then if it's a uh, nop, move it. Uh What does retain give me? Please be mutable. Please be mutable, Rust. It's not. I know it's not. I fucking know it's not. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Oh, fuckers. Mm. That's going to be two N. Is there a reason for that? Can be done with a for loop in 2.0. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. 
I know, chat. Motherfucker. Shit. 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 Time to read a retain map, right? Hmm. Trying to see if there's a reason. Uh, drain filter. Drain filter. Drain filter. We can use drain filter. Yep, and it does back shift. Um, if inst is not equal to operation nop, return true. Tain, uh, drain filter. If it returns true, it is removed and yielded. Retain non nops. Okay. Uh, at this point, we have point. We have a nop. Uh, remove it and update number of removals. Removals plus equals one. Um, ints, uh, and then true. Okay. And then for ILR in, I uh, will say if removals is greater than zero. For ILR in, is it even worth that check? Inputs. If ILR is not equal to, uh, if it's not equal to reg type max, uh, ILR minus equals removals. Okay, this is update register uh, references based on removed instructions. Uh, um, if let operation nop is equal to inst. Uh, we have a nop, remove it, and update removal counter. <sighs> hey, first nightly feature, let's fucking go.
immediate 11, a reg right of reg zero, and a trap! Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! Fuck yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Fuckers. All right. Uh Um How does it work if you're loading an unknown value? Let's do that. Um, let's do aisle dot reg read uh, target reg uh, x, right? So A is being used. Uh, it's just going to panic. Um, oh, that's actually because it doesn't know the target of this branch. I'm going to say B and, B and D for this. Uh, that's something we'll, we'll work on later because that gets really hard. Um, Let's see here. Oh god. Um uh, da, 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 agreed. All right, C add A and B. Um what do we do here? Um, I wonder if that's from the emulator that's fucking us. It shouldn't be. That should propagate through. Um, let's see what pass is killing us here. It's okay. I expect this. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's not produced. Not produced. We don't actually update the metadata, but not produced. If we do it at the end, we don't have to. Greg read trap. Trap, trap, reg right. What's going on there? Uh oh, 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 oh. Um. Okay, reg right. That should be none. By default, that should be none. Um, if we don't optimize, let's see what happens. I think we're losing the reg right. Yes, we are. Okay, sweet. Um, we're losing the reg right, which we can't do. We, uh, we can only get rid of the la- We can only, basically, we want to make sure we have at least one reg right. Um... Do you code in Rust at Microsoft? Yeah. Yeah, all my projects were in Rust at Microsoft. Um, I thought through this. I, I'm trying to remember what I thought through, but I remember this was going to be a problem. Uh, we set a register. We get to the end. And why are we not pushing that? Why are we not pushing this? Because we have it, and then we prune it, and we prune it, we set the reg. State dot aisle regs. Is that not starting as none? I think it is. Why would that not be plumbing? Reg M Reg read M M Oh shit are we taking that branch? Oh my god, it's literally fucking right. B and D are equal, so we branch conditionally to one, two, three, four, which is the trap. 
So it deletes the fucking right. Oh my God, we're geniuses. <laughs> Holy shit, we're smart. I was wondering if this would happen. Oops, I outsmarted myself. Yep. Welcome to the life. Welcome to the life. Okay. Now, attempted to subtract with overflow. Well, that's very interesting. Um. I see. Wait, do I see? MM add reg writes. Um. So that's not produced, that's killing us, and that's okay. Let's take a look at our intermediate graph. Uh, uh, oops, I outsmarted myself. We, haven't, we still haven't solved loops. We still have a halting problem. Nop, nop, add, right, trap, okay. So we tried to do an op removal there, an op removal there. Oh. Uh, zero and one. Oh, shit, this algo is not correct. Yeah, this doesn't work. Okay, um. Um. Ah. Uh, what do I want to do? Like a reduced, reduced by, like a vector of reductions? Dying. We're going to do, let me, uh, Uh, up temp dot we can repurpose to explore dot clear dot resize and it's the size. Um, removals, Zero. Ah, how do I want to do this? I need to know how much to reduce registers by. Would it be possible to preserve information about the skipped registers in the NOP? So that you shift registers only if NOP was an instruction that used a register. Um. So. <laughs> I think I have to do it this way. I think I have to do it like this. Um, push removals. Oh, this isn't going to work either, is it? This isn't going to work either. 
Um. Wait, no, this will work. I think. I think this should work. Something like this. Something like this. Uh, yep, typing is wrong. I'm just gonna as you ate that, just to see what it does for now. Read, immediate, add, zero and one. I think this is correct, right? Well, that, look at that, four months. Hell yeah, thank you, hell, but the A, the L. Hell with the L, hell with the AI. I don't know if it's an L or an I. Thank you, capital letters. Um, it's an, a letter. Once again, I can't tell if that's an L or an I. <laughs> it's a capital I. <laughs> you also need to shift the registers that you use. What do you mean? Um, I think this is conclusive. This is not conclusive? Okay, uh... I don't know how this would fail. If it's not equal to max, then it's a valid register allocation, and then we subtract the... Uh, we subtract that amount from it. I think this is conclusive. Not break zero. That. We'll translate to that. Oh, I see. The the registers that I generate? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh... I, I, I don't know. I don't. What's your output? We can try. We can try it. Uh. X. AMD. Uh, reg one and reg one, which is the result, CC, and then ILD at reg right, target reg AXD. Uh, reg under, I'm used to not having underscores, but I think underscores are better in this, but I'm not used to that. Uh, index out of bounds, 47, oh, uh, we need a trap, there's no termination to this program, uh, yeah, we'll just trap with D. Uh, read AX, read BX, add AX and BX, add the result of those two together, and write it out. 
and then trap. It just works. It just works. Remember that the the output of our instructions, the output register is based on the index, right? So by removing it, we've actually adjusted the output register. And then all we have to do is only change inputs. All right. Basically, we keep track of how many instructions we've removed at a certain point. And at the start, we've removed nothing, right? Ooh, I got it. You got an edge case? Yeah, this is right. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? <laughs> it's very cheap. It's very cheap. Um, isn't that fucking cool, dude? Isn't that a really interesting way? Um, remember, the performance of our optimizations and generation is so fucking important. So, like, that's why this code isn't the most clean code in the world. Because we need this code to optimize really fucking fast. <laughs> I can't believe it was ON cubed. I don't know what I did, but I think last time, anytime I changed a register, I went through the whole tree and I changed any instances of the register, right? Because I wasn't, I was playing with an IL. I wasn't actually really trying to make it fast. And I was caching the results. So I didn't think the perf would matter, but now the perf fucking matters. The optimization, the lifting, actually the lifting perf doesn't matter. The optimization matters. Um, but what's interesting is the, uh, let me finish my thought. Um, we're going to go and uh, make a temporary for this. Nop, reduce, uh, vec, reg, uh, scratch, space used uh, for uh, nop, reduce. And we're saving all of these so we reuse the allocations. Uh, nop, reduce. S2, explore, nop, reduce, G as bam i'm a fucking god hell yeah all right so before optimizations we have a bunch of shit and then after optimizations we have read two registers now what's interesting is these registers stay ugh. these registers stay because they're unknown at the time of execution but if we say um, <laughs> if we say, uh, state dot, that's our state, uh, target state dot right reg, target reg, x someone, um, if I do this, so check this out, if I, if I have ax set, uh, right reg, set reg. Um, if we set the reg, that gets propagated as an immediate. Because that gets filled in. Because at execution time, we actually know the register state. Um, and then similar, if we take bx, and we also give bx an own state, we end up with an immediate four, we write the four, uh, because what do we do? We add one and one, that gets two. We add two and two, that gets us four. We propagated that to an immediate four. We then write that to AX, and then we trap. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Isn't that fucking awesome? <laughs> Whew. Whew. It's working. Yeah. Now do you see why I had options on everything? <laughs> so basically, when we go into executing something, uh, we're going to leave whatever registers we know. So at the start of a snapshot, we know all the register state. We know all the memory state. And then we slowly, uh, as we go on in execution, we slowly stop marking things as known values, and they become none and they just get propagated as, uh, as non-constant. 
So we actually made a this this is behaving as a constant propagation, which is really interesting. This is a weird way to do constant propagation, uh, but it works. Now, one problem is that this doesn't handle loops yet, and we got to figure that out, and that's going to be relatively hard. But we're going to dump this as dot uh, as a dot file format, and then we're going to call it there so I can go out to eat tonight. But we'll just uh, we'll get this visualizing. Is that not fucking cool, chat? Is that not fucking cool? Um, I feel like Mario is going to be very unprepared for this. Yeah. So here's what's interesting about this optimization strategy. Um, when... This, remember, this is not for Mario. This is for fuzzing. What's interesting about this is the more snapshots you take, the more optimization you get. Remember, like, right now, once you get down graph far enough, the fact that these are constant values will propagate to basically nothing, right? Now, if all of memory is constant and all of values are constant, then literally the program will just be the right side effects. It'll only be side effects, right? And that's what's really interesting here. However, um, once you get some unknown, some like user-controlled inputs, eventually it will converge to none of the state is known and none of these optimizations will really apply, except for like globals and other things that are truly constant, which is the goal of this, right? But... If I take more snapshots, if by the time I get to a parser, I take a snapshot at that parser, then I can like concretize at that point, and I can assume everything up until that point can now be assumed as constant. So then I can re-optimize a different version of that function. Now, to know what inputs you can affect in those sorts of things requires some crazy logic, but here's the thing. I'm going to do this for memory as well. So basically, when I read memory, if I know the address at, at compile time, and I read that, then I'm going to read that memory, and I'm going to set a bit in that memory. And the bit that I'm going to set is going to indicate that that memory has been assumed constant. It doesn't matter what type of memory it is. That memory could be literally RWX memory, right? So even if the memory is RWX and things write to it all over the fucking place, right? Um, I will say I treated this value as constant. So when a write occurs to this memory, exit the VM and we'll read it. We'll basically throw it away because we made an incorrect assumption. But it's basically constant until proven, proven uh, non-constant. <laughs> I haven't found a good way to describe what we're doing. But an, a really interesting thing is think about like Mario, where you have like uh, um, like I don't remember where my inputs are. Okay, there we go. So like, think about Mario. This score is technically constant, even though it can change. At least right now, during the simulation, in, in the JIT that we theoretically are going to build, anything that reads the score is constant. Which means that all of the rendering related to the score is constant. So all of that just gets propagated. <laughs> Same with the coins. Coins is constant. Now, once I go grab a coin, right, now that I have a coin, it's no longer constant because that value has been observed to change, so I had to rejit that. But if I were to take a new snapshot now, and I wanted to start looking for routes from this starting point, now it's constant again, right? So basically, by forking the tree, I can assume everything prior was constant. So yeah, this is, this is the goal. <laughs> I hope people have now seen what sort of ridiculous shit we're going to try to get up to uh, with this project, and it's going to be fucking fantastic. <laughs> it's going to be fucking nuts.
Optimistic const prop? Yeah. Do you have any estimate what, for what kind of speedups this could give? I highly doubt this will generate a speedup. At least in Mario. Well, in terms of execution speedup, I have no fucking idea. Uh, like, I literally don't know if it's 2x. If it's 2x, it's not even worth engineering. If it's, like, 1x, then it's definitely fucking worth it. Uh, or, not 1x. If it's, like, 10x, it's definitely worth it. So... Oh. Wouldn't each lane emulator need different JIT outputs? No, because I'm gonna treat I'm gonna treat each lane uh, as uniform for um for these style permissions. So when it comes to the uh when it comes to the permissions for um uh let's see. Uh when it comes to the permissions for the actual how do I wanna describe this? Basically, the constant and the JIT are shared. And that means if something writes to memory that was treated as constant, all of the JITs will abort and re regenerate, if that makes sense. How do you get the controllers to show up in the bottom left? I don't know. I hit random settings, and now that they showed up, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I didn't write this emote? No, I didn't. No. How did, how did I miss that? I am not used to playing with a keyboard, to be honest. That's my excuse. That's my excuse, chat. All right, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go generate some dot. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have to do one other thing. Um, uh, we're gonna do il dot add uh, target. Uh, um, so chat. I know people are excited, but there's a there's a chance that this is a really big deal. And there's a chance that this optimization strategy is fucking shit. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try this. Uh, il dot reg, right? Target reg. Bx. Uh, we're gonna read. Yeah, check this out, chat. Uh, let one is il dot m one. We're gonna write. Trap is the end of our program. We're going to. Uh, I. Uh, Counter is equal to il.add, a with one. Actually, this will go into ax. Might as well read that value out. Let's do this. Reg read ax. Um, so we got a. We add one to it, so we don't need a nop at the start. We have one. Then this is a loop. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to do il.branch conditional. Uh, we're going to conditionally branch to let label is isle.label. Remember, we're programmatically generating this, so it doesn't have to be the best API. We're going to branch conditionally to label if a is uh, let 10 is isle.m10. If it is condition not equal to uh, 10... Uh, 494. Reg write, uh, reg write the counter. This is why we don't need phenodes right now, because we're writing it to registers. And then D, we're just gonna trap with one. Come on, please fucking work. Yes! Look at this! Immediate one, immediate two. We write two to AX. We keep the one around because we use it for the trap. And then everything has collapsed to reg rights. No loop, no condition, no checks. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, 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 chat. Oh, fuck me. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> it's so fucking cool. <laughs> fuck yeah. Um, this is going to break a lot of shit, but we have to do this. Fuck. Uh, ba ba ba. Uh. Hmm. 
Well, it's going to be a couple places where things are fucked up. Instructions. Self.instructions. This is going to be an instruction. Okay. RG self instructions. Fuck. Uh, e aisle source. Uh, opt. I've never had a. I've never had an optimizer that can do loop unrolling like this. Well, I mean, it's not really loop unrolling. It. We're we're cheating. We're cheating. But. Gonna be fucking awesome chats. So welcome to day two of writing an IL. <laughs> We're making good progress. Uh um wonder if you could do optimizations like don't update inputs every frame, but only in a time interval that's human possible humanly possible. Yeah. I want to do some, like, really weird categories. I'm going to find some nutty shit. Uh, I just don't necessarily know what category. Can I do that lead binding there? I think so. Um, uh, ILR... I forgot all the places where I use this. I know when I push instructions, I'm going to need it. It's going to be a lot of shit. Uh, oh, I just don't have it in. Okay. Okay. Not using VEC. Not using this. Uh, 297 in lib. Okay, this is instruction. Okay. Do you intend to play whatever strategy it finds? Uh, if it finds a usable strategy, um, but I'm not a good player of Mario. I've only been playing for a week and I've never, I've still, still yet to beat the game. Um, but yes, uh, Look, if it finds something game-breaking enough that I could get a record, sure, but it would have to save so much fucking time for someone as bad as me to get it. Like, if it found a massive speed-up, like something that was like 20 seconds, maybe I would spend the time to try to get good at it. But uh, barring that, fuck no. You still, still yet to beat Super Mario Bros? Fuck you, it's hard. Fucking hard. That's what I've been doing recently. I've been uh, doing some co-op, trying to beat it with a friend. It's hard, dude. It's hard. Uh, fuck. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there, chat. Lib uh, 334, fix up. Come on, chat. That's going to be an opt. No, lossy emulator. Okay. Seven. Come on. Rip. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. You can see that it's not optimized here. All these things would get cons propped out, so we need to run our optimization pass. Uh, okay, just doing some code cleanup. Uh, good, something like that. Uh, okay. Damn. All right, so now let's dump this to dots. Okay. Dump dots. Uh, how do I require that there's standard for this? Ah, fuck it. We'll do it to a string. Okay, um... Generate the uh, dot file representation of this graph. Okay, uh, self. Alright, now we need to do a graph traversal. Let me, uh, to explore is back new. We don't care about performance of this. Use alloc vec vec uh, to, uh, this is just a vec uh, zero vec. Uh, while let sum no uh, ii equals to explore dot pop if, um, Hmm. We might actually have to connect these. How do I want to do that? Because all the instructions are separate. I know of at least one time where uh, someone brute forced some inputs to try and find a make a task only strategy feasible. Uh, to find a way to make a task only strategy feasible to real time speedrunners. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd go by basic blocks. Problem is, I don't have basic blocks. Um, oh, I can, I can make this work. I can make this work. Um, let mute explored is equal to vac false of uh, self.instructions.len. Okay, then we're gonna do um, if explored ii, continue, explored ii is true, uh, don't, uh, curse, is this gonna work? Put that under conditional compilation, yeah. If explored continue, explored con true, match, self instructions, I, I, uh, then we're gonna do instruction, operation, branch, it's just this. Um, target, Lambda Proof, thank you so much for the five months. Glad you're back. We missed you. Hell yeah. Opt up push. So I was thinking of I, I, John. Yeah, that was like using AFL, which makes no fucking sense, to be honest. Um, but it is cool snapshot fuzzing work anyways. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit more perf. That's going to be our trick, is just a little bit more perf. Okay. 
Branch conditional. Uh, condition then target. To target, explore both of those. Okay, word, uh, use create word. Use core uh, format debug. Uh, graph. Uh, create. Graph, instruction, operation. Okay, 24. Uh, this. Damn. Uh, if it's a trap. Okay. Okay. Uh, everything else is hop stop push target zero uh whoops i plus one uh 21 push uh target Opt, whoops, to explore. Now we're getting, now we're getting there. When I say there, I mean to uh, shitty code world 22, T-E, I-I. Okay, uh, no, okay. Uh, block dot format. Uh, okay. Uh, use Alec Vec. And format. Bam. Block. Print. Block. Doesn't have to be debug. Uh. Standard. Print. Print. Okay, 21. Yep. It's possible to use write. Can I in, uh, can I in core? So that's format right, I guess. I don't know. Uh... Um, okay, uh, thanks. Yeah, I was going to do that, but I, for some reason, I assumed all the right stuff, but yeah, that's core format, right? Not, uh, that's not the other right. Um. Okay. I found debug self format mute formatter. That format result that uh, 
I'm gonna say format here. I just don't want to pollute too much. Uh, okay, two forty-eight. Uh, what is this format? Shit. Yep. Damn. Okay. Uh Those are unconstrained. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, no generics. Good. Uh Okay. All right. So now we can write to format ASDF. Fuck yeah. Where's our ASDF? Oh, we don't call dot. Um, IL dot dot dump dot. Of that. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um Okay. Uh Um, that inputs is equal to, uh, Yikes. Oh, you can do this now, I think. Let's see what it does. Uh, that's so it gets us access to the inputs, and then that's going to be the input inner field. Nice. Match self dot zero. Okay, now we just have to do this. Good shit, man. Hell yeah. Glad you're enjoying it, Tesla Motors. Vroom vroom to you too. Uh, target. Right, format. Um, this is gonna be a... This is equal to ILR this. Target register, debug print, and then A.0. Uh, God, destructuring is so fucking good. Yep. Destructuring is so fucking good. Unfucking real. Unfucking real. Uh uh copy plus debug. Yeah, let's just do this. There we go. Fuck yeah. Um, shit. OK. 
Okay. Um. Um, uh, okay, this is versus um. Oops. Uh, twenty one. Uh, Okay. I could also impl Azref that. All right. And now we chug, chat. Now we chug. Uh, immediate. Sub and or exclusive or not shift left right shift arithmetic right Zero extend. Sign extend. And is borked. Thank you. That would have been very confusing. Uh, thank you. Uh, sign extend. Uh. Uh, set cond. ILR condition ILR uh
Fuck yeah. Um, beaconed. Target. Um. If this. Go to target. Um, okay. It's a label. Nice trap. Um, value, a uh, trap, X, ILR, Val, A. Uh, lower hex. Okay. Uh, choose one branch. Branch. Okay, branch. Um, okay. Sorry. All right, for the boring part, okay, this is um, uh, pretty print the instruction into formats, uh, given the instruction is, uh, instructions output is um, in ILRII. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, oops. Okay. Fuck yeah. Um... I don't know if this is going to work. This is going to work. It's going to work, chat. Um... This is gross. Don't do this. <coughs> Don't do this, chat. Uh, let mute. Um...
think it's incorrect because of backer branches. Let's see. Okay, new line. Is there a right LN? Of course there is. Um, I think these are comma separated. Semi. Uh, okay. Then, um, Uh, this is not going to work. Uh, it's okay. Um, advanced this is advanced uh set this to false uh this is zero okay we have zero, which is a trap. Uh, 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 dot T S V G. Uh, test dot dot. Wow. Yikes. Really? No fucking way. Uh, uh, 
Okay. I can't imagine Graphis is too big to build. How the fuck did I not have Graphis? But I'm pretty sure you can do new lines like that. Do you plan on streaming regularly? Hell yeah. Have you built an emulator before? Yeah, I've built probably dozens. I've built I've built a handful of Emmys, as they call it. Come on, Graphviz. I think this will work. Um. How am I so fucking smart, chat? How am I so fucking smart? God, it never ends. Never fucking ends. Um. Uh. Is that going to work, chat? Is this going to work? Five to two? Mm. No. Ah, shit. Um. Not the current instruction. This is kernode. Our node goes to targets. That. Zero goes to two. We jump to int two. Yeah, shit. 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 Oh, I thought I could cheese it and I can't. Can't cheese it. Oh, hmm. Are you hungry, dude? Want to get some food? All right, we're going to wrap up the stream here. See you around. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so fucking needy. Let's find who we're going to re- Oh my god, now I'm just getting fucking advertised e-girls. I'm just getting advertised e-girls because I did a hot tub stream. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, okay. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> Bad. Help. Fuck science and technology. All right, let's find someone to read. 
Let's raid. Uh, let's raid. Let's raid Bald Engineer, who's working on an Apple II uh, physical stuff electronic stuff so we're gonna send you all over there have fun be nice be respectful see you around